So we got colors going on here in the shop. Uh, I started on another something. I'd say it's pretty fun. Ooh, dark. Oh, it's dark. T.Y. It's so dark, T.Y. So um, I decided to start modifying a different car while doing the Firebird and some of the other ones. You know, we've been messing with Luzi for a while now and so on and so forth, but really, uh, Villain's other car is what's up to bat today. Oh, snap! The Mach 1. Uh, so, T, what are you gonna do to the Mach 1? <coughs> Yet again, I still got that cough. I am going to cut the back end out and weld in a piece well actually i already cut it uh weld in a piece of tail panel that can house tail lights that we make so what what do you mean by that what kind of tail lights we make well we don't make mach 1 tail lights we don't make mach 1 tail lights what we do make is we do make 69 camaro tail lights what a word all right yeah um 69 camaro tail lights on a 71 mach 1 yeah man yeah so that's what's going on so i got it cut out already you can kind of see and completely clear ready to uh weld on the tail panel where's the tail panel here's the tail panel like that like that so we had these this piece of steel uh cnc'd and cut already ready for the the back end of that so what we're doing is just stand y'all up so what we're doing is we're going to put a tail panel La la, just la la. Let's see if she'll stay. Will she stay? Okay. <coughs> so, we got the tail panel basically cut and ready to go in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, in case you haven't noticed, I still got that cold. But uh, yeah, you can see how that looks. I think that looks pretty cool, right? Don't you think so? I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, the uh, it gives it a better look as far as tail lights go, because the Mach One tail lights, I don't know, they're kind of like little. They're like really little. Um, did I already get rid of? Yeah, okay, we got rid of the the excess tail panel, so I can't show y'all. But the tail panel now is full length, and the best part about it is our. Uh, uh, infinity tail lights are what we're gonna put in there and the infinity tail lights are super dramatic now this car already is kind of super dramatic because it is already on air ride villain already put the air ride on it uh, she does go up and down uh, she's a little lopsided right at the moment but don't hold that against us uh, only lopsided because she's uh, getting some stuff on the other side <clears throat> but that's her so she is going to be uh getting worked on little by little too for the channel um i have some pretty interesting ideas that i want to execute on it uh of course you know there's going to be a pretty good amount of metal work going on in there so the metal work that i'm going to be doing might make it gain some weight so, no Jenny Craig for her. This a big girl any damn way, so now she's gonna get a little bit wider, a little bit wider. And um, you don't see a lot of these modified. Uh, most of the time you see them, um, you know, kind of stock. And because they're not a Mach 1, they're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta keep the Mach 1, a Mach 1. I'm like, man, these, these particular Mustangs they weren't exactly loved. 
you know they if if any if any muscle car guys are watching they probably already know they had a nickname right and these mustangs were called the mail slot windows mustangs because they say the way that the back is you could damn near like it you can't see anything out the back like what do you mean what do you mean t what do you mean well back there you can kind of see if i go this way look at that let's get let's get eye level you see that a little slit right there so that's where the mail slot uh, uh, nickname came from that tiny tiny back window uh, a lot of guys did not like this Mustang I think they're just now coming into their own over the last few years uh, and I think because everyone's seen the 69 70 fastback or the 66 67s 68s you know, all the fastback ones are very, uh, I don't want to say played out, but might be a little played out. I mean, it might be a little played out, but the, and I think that I want to hear that play out because I love those particular ones, but this one, it's kind of coming into its due. So yeah, it's going to get, it's going to get a little bit uh, of, um, of specialty of some black cloud specialty on it and uh, we're gonna see how that goes the the biggest thing about these is that we really want to make the young dudes you know who are you know they they, they 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 think that these things are oh that's dad's car that's grandpa's old Mustang or stuff like that I me of all people now y'all probably already know me and mainly because you know her and since you know her, then you know what I mean. If, if there was anyone out there to make a, a, a stand for Camaros, I'd probably be the one that they mentioned. And this would be the one, mainly because it's been updated and you know used in ways that, uh, that they just don't do. They just don't do uh, that in the uh, old school muscle crowd. But let's do some stuff that's different. If we do some stuff that's different, uh, you're gonna, we're going to have a broader audience and, and, and really the, the, the scene won't die. It won't die because these, to be honest, I remember when you could get them for almost nothing. Um, now they're doing better. Now they're doing better. So let's go ahead and see what the Black Cloud can do with this one and what we could cook up, right? Stay tuned for that one. <laughs> 